Hi everyone and welcome to Quality Time Fishing channel. We're um, going out today to do a bit of prospecting. There's um, two or three new marks I've found with the help of the Navionics app that I've put on my chart plotter and I'm um, going out to have a look around and see what's there. The new fishing three rods, the other rods I've got out as a mackerel rod to see if there's any mackerel rates right? so and get some fresh mackerel. Be fishing mainly scratching rigs, um, one looking for bream, one generally looking for anything and one for sort of either bass or um, smooth hound. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll come up with some action from today for later on. So what we in? 12 foot of water. I think we found our mackerel already by the looks of it. Oh, it's giving me a run around here. Look at this. <laughs> oh, brilliant fun. Yeah, we got one. We got two, we got three. There we go. First drop, three mackerel straight in. Oh, <laughs> can't even get them in. There we go. Three mackerel straight in. What a cracker, hey? Let's get them off then. Oh, we're picking them up right under the boat. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's bass this time. We'll come out of the mackerel, we're in the bass. We don't want them, do we? We don't want the bass, we want the mackerel. Start to run out of feathers on this string. Let's get a cast away this time, see if we can find something. Into them again. Just had to change the feathers, I've run out of feathers. Looks like we've got a mackerel on here. Yeah. Oh, what a mess he's made. Made a lovely mess of me feathers, that one, hasn't he? Oh, I kind of quite regularly now. I've got must have a dozen in the box already. I'm only coming one at a time, but they're right here, all right. A little flick away from the boat. That's all I'm doing. Well, we fished the first mark. Give it an hour and a half. Didn't have a bite. Bait was coming back the same as it was. So moved again to another mark. I found on the plotter. So um, we try there. There's a lot of birds working down off of Leon Solon I can see from here. Um, all over the place they are. Looks like there's a lot of mackerel about today. Might have to go and have a go at them in a minute if I get bored. Um, same setup as before, ragworm, squid. And that one actually got a lump of mackerel on this time, a fresh mackerel. Let's see if there's any rays about. Who knows? Let's have a try. Just had a bit of interest on both these rods. That one's got the ragworm on and that one's got the squid on. Both of them had a little jump around like it was breamy bites but I don't know. They were there one minute, gone the next. Hopefully they come back. Just keep an eye on them we will. See how it goes on. This here, this one's still little nudges there. Keep an eye on it. I think we've got a bream on this rod. We'll just put a piece of Squid tipped off with a bit of um, ragworm. It seems to have um, done the trick. Oh, it's just hit it nicely. Feels like a nice bream. Saying that, it could be a dog, couldn't it? No. We'll see. Feels like a bream. Like it's jumping around. Yeah, it's a bream. On the bream rig. Uh, nice little bream. Here we go. First one of the day. Nice little bream on the bream rig. That's what we want to do. Let's get him off then. Let's get him sorted out. I want to just put this one out. It's the one that had the bream on just a minute ago. It looks like we might have a, another one making a bit of interest in here. Yep. Squid tipped off with a little bit of ragworm. Seems to be doing the business with this. Oh, hey, this is a nice little head shake. We got, yeah, he's a nice bream. Yeah, nice little bream. I'm stripping the bait pretty quick now. That's two. And it looks like the bream's come on the feed all of a sudden. This bream rod, I've just got my bream rig on. It's, um, it's only out for five minutes now and it's getting hammered. All it is is squid tipped up with a little bit of ragworm and they seem to be loving it. I've just tried 
a bit of mackerel on the other rod to see what's going on there. If anything, what we got here? Oh, he's a better bream altogether. Oh, he's a lovely bream. Cracker of a bream. The size of that. That's a good pound bream, that is, if not a bit more. That's a cracking size bream, that one. That's way over the pound mark. Lovely eater. Beautiful piece of fish. That's number three, so we're in now. Same rod each time. A bit of ragworm tipped off with, a bit of squid tipped off with ragworm. We've got this one taking line. This was a whole lump of mackerel on this one. This could be a decent fish on here now. Probably milking a doggy. But There's a mackerel, a mackerel strip on there. Like they've been running around for a little while having a go. Kept having a little knock at it now and again. Probably a dog. Am I over that rod? No, it's not the moment, I don't think. Oh, wait, it's gone across tight. It could be a hound. Oh, and the other rod's going now, look. And for, oh no, we've got three rods going. We've got the two at the back going, if, I don't know if you can see them. And I've got a fish on this rod, and both, both back rods are going. Oh, it's a nice bass. We've got ourselves a bass. We've got ourselves a lovely bass. Oh, look at that. He's a cracker. He's a cracker of a bass we got there. Let's try and get him in the net quick. No messing about. Come on, in you come. In you come, boy. In you come. No, I've lost him again. Here we go. Let's get him. Yeah, we got him. He's a cracking bass. Ho! Oh, well pleased with that. Let's saw him out and we'll give you a show. There we go. 50 centimetre bass. Cracking bass. Made my day, that is. Bream rods are still going at the back there, as you can see behind me, going absolutely berserk they are. I don't know if you can see them going. But I'll have to get onto them now, get them in. Here we go, first of the bream rods. You saw them going. I've, I've still got the rod from the bass in the boat. I'm even. I haven't even um, baited it up yet. Because he's a... See, the other rod's going as well. It's all gone a bit mad here. All of a sudden. Yeah, I've got a nice bream on this one. Oh, beautiful bream. There you go. Beautiful bream on this one. Let's get him unhooked. He's a keeper for the pot. The old cocks and will go straight in the corner of the mouth. Get him away. Then we go for this rod here as well. And we've got something on here as well. Oh, I think we might have lost this one. We've been messing about too long. It looks like we oh no, there's something just rattling away there. I think he's tired himself out where he's been on there so long. Yeah, we've got another bream. We'll have to measure him. There you go. There's another one. Perfectly up. Scratch and match. Cox and rule, scratch and match. Do it every time. The bream have just turned up in big numbers. If I don't know if you can see this rod there going, that's been out less than five minutes, the same as this one, I've got a job to bait them up and get them back out in time. That one's got mackerel on it as well, just a lump of mackerel, about as big as a 5p, 
on his small piece. This one's given a good account for itself here. It might be a decent size bream. Oh yeah, he's nice. Oh, no, it's a two shot. A double shot and the other rod. This could be interesting. Double shot bream and the other rod. I'll come back to you when I sorted this mess out. Horrible feeling, I've got a doggy on here. It's had a, the usual rattle of her head and it was on a lump of mackerel. So it's more than like it's a dog. That's if he hadn't already buggered off. A bit of luck. Oh, he's already gone, good. He's up and gone. He just had a feed and bugger off. Good. This one just had a hell of a bite. And he's got a run on as well. Oh yeah. Oh, fucking lost it. Yeah, that one then snapped me off. Straight through a 20 pound line. I'm only using 20 pound fluorocarbon on the little bream hooks. I reckon it's a smoothie went through me. He was off an hurry. Either that or a bigger bass. Who knows? I might come back. So we'll just have a bite on this one. The bream might have just turned back up again. It's only just been put out, just renewed the bait. So it's gone quite a bit. Just got a nice little take on it. Nice bit of rattling going on. Good sign of a bream. Having a good day on them at the moment. And darting about under the water there. Yep. There it goes, another decent sized bream. A nice bream size. Oh, my life jackets do get in the way at times, I must admit, but I've got to have them. There we go. Oh, and he unhooked himself. Just show what I've got here. All I've got is size two circle hook, a couple little pop ups, put two bits of squid, tip it off a mackerel. Oh, just a wire boomery. Simple as that. That's what they're hammering it. They're loving that today. There you go, another lovely bream. We're doing well today. I can't remember how many we've got now. Might be six or seven. Good result though. Lovely day, nice bit of sunshine and catching fish. What more could you want? Got a bite going on that rod and looks like the weeds just turned up. Come back to that rod in a minute, just sort this rod out. Yeah, the old wind's picked up from down through the southwest now, coming straight up through the channel through here now, getting the old solent slop going. And also the weeds starting to pick up here, so I think I might move in a bit in towards Cowshot Way or in off Hamble. Let's we'll see what we can do. I've got a big load of birds working just off of me here. So I might nip over there and see if I can pick up a few more fresh mackerel for the freezer. Um, if not, we'll um, go up inside Cowshot or up there somewhere and have a look what's going on. Just stopped on the, in a few birds here, chuck the feathers at them. Put some in straight away. A bit lump here, but the old um solent slot. But what we got? Two nice mackerel. That's it. That's a big one, they are. Some big mackerel then. Well, we've moved in to another mark now. We're back inside cow shot now. It was starting to get a bit um, so sloppy out there. A bit uncomfortable and fishing had died off a bit. So come inside here, in, inside cow shot for a little while. We're only in about nine, ten foot of water. Just to wait, uh, waste an hour or two. See how we get on. So I'll come back to you if we get anything. Um, fingers crossed, we might find something here. Well, that's it, uh, wind and the weed's got the better of me. The wind's just got up a bit more. It's got a bit of a chill in it now. Come from the southwest. Um, as the wind got up, so did the weed. 
so I'm not going to be in here pulling weed every in five minutes so I'm giving it a call in it for the day but after all it's been a pretty good day I've had about nine or ten bream six of them are keepers um, and lovely 50 centimeter bass so I'm quite happy great days fishing so hope you enjoy this video if you do please like and subscribe and see you again soon tight lines